Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna do a continued video in a sense, like a video number two about these hair folds. Uh, if you not watched the previous video, you should probably watch it where I kind of open them and talk about them in general and try to put them in for the first time. But basically what this is, like quite 90s looking uh, hair folds, you know. Uh, I will leave a link of where I actually got them from in the description, so you can have a look if you want. Uh, the woman did make these custom because she was selling like green ones, but I don't like green. I'm more of a blue kind of person. They uh, do look a bit washed out for some reason in the camera, but they're like pure, pure bright blue color. And today I thought I should, I shall uh, show you a couple of ways how I would probably wear them. I think they are a bit too synthetic looking, maybe for like an everyday thing, but I think it would be pretty fun for like a night out or something, and I'm going for a night out later on today, maybe maybe I'll try one of the ways to actually wear them, I don't think it's a very, quite, you know, quite a concert and stuff, but, but you know, why not? So I thought I'll show you, I think three maybe four ways of how I would probably wear these, it probably will be three ways, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep going. <laughs> I'm not really thought, I have thought of three, but I, the fourth one's kind of on question, so I'm not too sure yet, so <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and be sure to look, have a look on the previous video, and be sure to check out me on Instagram, because I post stuff there all the time, and um, all the links and all kind of contact information and what else not about me and about the hair is down in the description box as per usual because that's where I always put all the information because that's the description box. A couple of things I will be using, I will be using a couple of these kind of really thick hair bands because I felt like they kind of hold my hair together quite well and obviously a hairbrush because you know one needs a hairbrush. I did brush my hair uh, and it's all nice fresh and washed. I should probably stay in there the side bits but you know it doesn't matter does it no one's there to watch a look at them <laughs> uh so yeah let's get into this video we got a more common look where we usually well i have at least i remember when i was smaller i could shoot had the uh, kind of talk <laughs> i have always seen it if you hear like a weird cracking noise it's because i'm sitting on a chair and for some reason it's cracking a little i don't know what's what's that all about but yeah first thing you need is two hair dyes so all i'm gonna do Split my hair in the in the middle, preferably in the middle. Didn't bring a mirror again. I don't know. I really need a filming mirror, and I will leave like a little fringe action out, and I'm gonna literally just tie it in a bun. But instead of usually I tie them quite far back, I'm gonna do them a bit kind of more in the middle, more like more little girl style. If that makes sense. And just bun it up in whichever way you do. This is how I do it. So it's literally like a big bun and try to tie it in a sense as tight as you can because you know it will fall apart if you don't. So I just kind of double tie it weirdly and just tuck the end away and literally repeat it on the other side. Like so, kind of, you know, trying to make them fairly even, but you know, it doesn't matter in the sense, like at least to me, it doesn't really matter if it's tall even or a little bit even or kind of even or something. I don't even know where I'm going with this sentence. Um, kind of always feel like one band is a little smaller and smaller than the other one, but that's just gonna be my monkey hair. So, when you have your buns, bring on the hair. I did brush these before this video because I thought they were a bit, I don't know, a bit kind of tangled because they've just been sitting in the bag that's been kicked about all the time. So, literally, just go from the other side and tie it around the bun, like where the bun's tied to the head, and literally make it that the hair's literally fallen over the other side and tie the, the tie underneath I will just make like a, a reasonable knot underneath and just wish the hair over and boom you have a big piggy tail 
uh, as I mentioned before, this is was literally the look that I was always seeing, and you can obviously just pop it up and even be at hair and just make it super, super awesome looking, and just literally repeat it on the other side. So take your thing, uh, just kind of like brushing them down so they're kind of together. Again, put on the other side and tie somehow. Just make the knot quite tight so it's, you know, so you obviously so it's reasonable so you can open it when you're done with it. And, and wash the hair somehow back. <laughs> uh, I can tell that obviously this knot's a bit more questionable than this one. But I think it's quite alright. I don't know what's happening with the fringe. But yeah, this would be the first one. Like big, big ponytails. And they're, as you can tell, they're quite far, like over my ears. You can probably put like some goggles on or whatever. Do kind of style them up a little bit. Uh, I try to turn, show it back. Uh, should be alright. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's how they look like. I'll, I'll insert a little clip. Now just showing you them off to actually see how they look on full length and all that kind of stuff. And then for the next bit, uh, I will only use one, one <laughs> hair fall, like bit and a hair tie. So all I'm gonna do to get it in there like I say this is quite simple you know simple things that you can literally do for like everyday looks I think uh, all I'm gonna do is literally just brush my hair in a ponytail same thing make it as high as you want I usually like uh, having my ponytail fairly high and I think it would look better for this but it would be fairly high and leave my fringe out there again because I think it just looks better the way uh, fairly high and make a bun again like so literally just tie a big bun as tight as you can probably should put like an extra hair tie or something over it and then grab on your hairs Oof. again I literally all I do is just kind of pat it down Make any excess off if there's any hanging, and then when the bit's kind of a little bit loose, so literally all you do, same thing you need to do it like from the opposite side. So I would do it from the top of my head, tie up. I hope you can see it. <laughs> and tie and a questionable knot, like so, and just wash over. Uh, fix the fringe and just arrange the hair so it so it's sitting nicely over the actual bun because I felt with this it is a bit because the bun's quite large so it it can be a bit of pain in the cheeks because the hair seems to be split and the bun's out so you just kind of arrange it around it if that makes sense and just wash it. A bit all I'm doing is literally just popping it in my hands and like so and you have a single ponytail well a ponytail more like uh, so like that so I say trying to arrange it so the heads over it I think uh, you could probably use some maybe like little pins or something to kind of place there like uh, the little bits that are on the tie like these bits kind of pierce them into your bun. I think that would quite help up quite a bit. But I think it's pretty good. I quite like. I like having a ponytail and then splitting my hair in two and just kind of, you know, one tail. The love of one tail. Sorry, I keep looking on the actual screen because I, I, I just like looking at myself, I guess. Uh, but <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, here's how it looks properly.
for the third look, I uh, will need a um, hair tie, and as you can see, I'll literally just continue on from this. All I'm gonna do is wash the the top more because there's like this little little chunk. I don't know where where that's gone, but literally wash the top up a little bit. Yeah, like I would in a bun, in doing a bun. And I'm gonna take this tie and literally just kind of wash over the middle bit and the top bit to create like a bun action but leaving some kind of longer hair there. And obviously you can adjust the length and all that kind of good stuff as you know as you like it, like maybe make the bun smaller and the underneath longer. And that's literally it. That's literally it. That's what I'm saying. You can make so many, you know, interesting but simple things. Let's say another thing you could like use maybe some couple pins. Just kind of pin it in place. Um, at the moment I'm not really going to do it because, you know, if I'm making um, multiple looks at one time, it's just easier this way. But, you know, you get how it, how it is. It's just literally, literally just one tie over it and that's it. I use a black tie to kind of blend it in more. And literally... That's it, you can maybe braid underneath or tie it around if you want like super big bun. But literally like a kind of half bun action, then you can't see your actual real hair bun if you arrange it properly. <laughs> and you know, it just blended in more and uh, you could probably put like something like a, I don't know, like a, some sort of clip or maybe a little bow. I think a little bow would look super cute on this, it's more of a, you know, more of a cute look. You know, and yeah, that's the tab look. This is how it looks out properly. Oh, for this port look, I thought I'll I'll just go with the port look. I'm here now. Might as well just go with it. I thought I could try to make a, like a big bun action because I love wearing my bun and I love having a, a big bun and big chunky bun and I love usually using one of these kind of stick things. I have this Indian one that I use for like everyday basis but I think this one will look a bit more jazz. It has like a little butterfly. Uh, I got it from the Chinese shop and I just thought it was super cute. It does look a little, a little sharp <laughs> so hopefully I don't cut my skull open. But it would be pretty cute to use this one. I kind of wish I would have got like at least two or maybe even three to just kind of jam them in there. Um, but let's try. I'm, I wasn't too sure where I'm going with this, so just bear with me. So the first thing I thought we should do, we should divide our hair in three, three parts and kind of, in a sense, loosely, loosely braid it up a little somehow. Somehow braid it up a little. Not totally to the end, just kind of a little bit, like so. I guess you could probably just braid these too. If you like like big chunky braids kind of thing. Alright, so now that I have it here and it's kind of braided up, and it's kind of starting form a bun action here. I'm literally gonna take it and try wrap it around trying to form a big bun <laughs> and then just kind of let all the hair kind of loose-ish look and it's even sitting itself and I have like the biggest bun ever I think that's pretty cute and oh there's a drop everything in a big hair pile <laughs> um I said I wish I would have straight my sides but you know let's go with it at the moment so there's that and I'll literally whoop, drop it, just drop it again. I literally would just use this big stick and kind of weave it under the bun bit and through. And just literally leave it there, just kind of hang out a little. Uh, maybe the bun's a little bit too big for it. I said I wish I had maybe a couple. Not really sure about it now. Probably just leave it as a bun, to be honest. I don't think I need a tie, but I think you could just use a black tie or whatever color you have, you know, depending on your things. I uh, to just kind of go around the bottom to kind of keep it in place and 
you know, this is pretty, pretty decent look, I think. I would definitely go with this. This is quite naturally looking, I think. And I think you can actually see my real one there too. Kind of weirdly blinking here somewhere, I don't know. And, you know, the blue bit still through it. And I could, I could probably go to work like this. This could be me at work. I don't know. Tell me what you think. I'll show you properly right now. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which look you like the best and let me know that you would like me to do more kind of intense look, shall we say. Uh, maybe try to fix them up, maybe with some outfits or something. If you would like to kind of me show you some like a cyber outfit, maybe. I'm not really into cyber things, maybe as much. But I do have some, some pieces, shall we say, uh, that could kind of, I think, would look great with my hair like washed out. And I could make some great pictures with it, I think. I think. <laughs> so, like I said, uh, I will leave the information about where I bought them. Uh, it's from an Etsy shop, so... And it's fairly reasonable prices, at least I thought it's reasonable prices. And uh, they sell not only like long ones, they sell shorter ones too, I'm pretty sure. And I think if you contact the woman, she'll, she'll do you shorter ones or longer ones if you wish so. Because she was really nice about it and she wanted to help me out to make the right color because I said I want black and blue and she's like oh do you only want like one blue or do you want like you know she has like multiple blue she was really into like literally every shade of blue in there so yeah <laughs> video not sponsored by the way I, I just really love this I just really love this really like this bun fully feeling the bun I'm going out tonight so I might go with a big bun <laughs> um but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. If you enjoyed the freak show me rambling all day long about nonsense. And I hope I see you in my next video. Bye!